in this video we are going to understand how fedex shipping udo integration will work so we divided this video in three parts first one is uh, fedex introduction second uh, we can say that uh, configuration part and third is integration part so in fedex introduction we will cover two things some introduction about fedex and uh, some features and services which they provide so fedex udo shipping integration becomes absolutely crucial for you uh, this integration will helps to connect with a fedex shipping carrier with udo so you can perform various operations like uh, get live shipping rate generate uh, shipping labels track shipment and you can also cancel the shipments too so you don't need to go to fedex dashboard you perform all these operation from here right so now we see that which services fedex provide and which we covered in our integration part so these all are the service types fedex to say two day two day am international priority express and etc you can see all the services here so as per your need as per your requirement you can set and you can use these services and export your shipment to fedex right so these are the service types now we talk about fedex features so these are the features which we covered in our integration part cod cash on delivery signature required commercial invoice insurance and declared value and third party payment so these all are the features which we covered in our integration part regarding fedex availability we can say that fedex shipping service is available worldwide you can create international and domestic uh, shipment from this shipping integration right and some uh talking we talk about api urls so these two are the api urls which is for sandbox and production and now i will show you documentation api documentation from which we integrate api and generate the all shipments and redirected features right so this is the first first part of this video now we move ahead to second part which is configuration part so we go to dashboard in configuration there are two things to configure first one is company level configuration and second is shipping level configuration so now we start with company level configuration we go to settings user and company menu and companies and go to company so whenever you install that fedex app you find that fedex configuration tab visible here so you just have to enable this checkbox and after that you have to enter these details fedex api url client id secret account number and you have to uh, create access token through this access token button so after entering these all details you have to click on this button so access token will generate and store here right so this is the first time configuration and only one time so you don't need to change anything from here right so now second configuration which is shipping level configuration so we go to sales menu configuration and shipping methods so you can see that we created three records for fedex so we open any of the one so you have to add shipping method name after that you have to select provider so you can find fedex as a provider in a provider list so you have to select fedex and whenever you select fedex as a provider you can get to know that this configuration tab is visible so in this configuration tab you have to enter these all details as per your requirement company service type pickup type default packet type request type payment type and etc 
So as per your need or requirement, you have to select all the details from here. So it will consider at the time of export the order, right? So you can create multiple shipping services as per your need and as per your requirement, right? So now we move ahead to our third part, which is integration part. So we go to sell order menu. We create new order, selecting customer. After that, adding some product quantity, add another product. Right. So after that, there are two ways to add shipping method in your order. First one is from here, add shipping. And second one is from delivery order level. So I will show you that point also. So first of all, you have to add shipping from sell order. Then you have to select this add shipping. And in list, you can find all the shipping services available. So we select these and if FedEx or this provi provider providing rate, then you can click on get rate button. So in return, FedEx will provide a rate and it will display here. It will take some time to process. Yes, so you can see that 41.88 rate is coming so we add it and we just confirm our order so at the time of confirm delivery order is created we go to delivery order and here you can see that uh, two products two to demand are here and in additional info you can see that <coughs> oh, sorry uh, fedex to the shipping service which we selected in sale order it's already phased in delivery order level so there is a second way if you don't select or add shipping from sale order then you can select in delivery order carrier also so you can select from here also before validate so these two are these two way you can add shipping method right so there is a multi package functionality also available in FedEx. So if you want to courier or if you want to send parcel of a single order in two package, so you can get two label in return. So we try with it. So first of all, if you don't find this button here and you want to access multi package functionality, so you just need to go to settings and enter package and inventory section there is a package packages option you have to enable this and save this so after that whenever you create record you can find this put in pack button over here right so in first package we add one one quantity of each product So we just added one one quantity of each product and now we click on put in pack. So you can see that packet details are asking. So you have to select your package from here. So now we selecting package and save it. So you can see that one package is created. Now we enter two two. So it means in first package there is a one one quantity delivered and in second package another remaining quantity will be delivered. So we set two of two in both of the product and again we click on put in pack. So here again asking for packet type, you have to select packet type, save it and from packages you can see that there is two packets created, right? So as we created two packets, it will show here. So now we have to validate our order. So at the time of validate, Udo will export details regarding 
sender information, receiver information, order information like uh, product name, <laughs> product quantity, product price, weight, etc. So at the time of validate, export the order and in return, FedEx will provide tracking reference number and label. So we just validate our order. Yes, so you can see that taking reference number we get from FedEx and two labels because we created multi package. So there is two label. If you have not added multi package, then only single label you received. So we open first label. So here you can see that one of two. So it means there are two labels. This is the first one and this is second one, two of two. So in return, you get these labels and tracking reference. So as of now, we seen two functionality of FedEx. First is get rate, which we seen in sell order. And second is export order, which is shipment. And two more functionality are here. Third one is tracking and fourth one is cancel. So whenever you click on this tracking button, Udo will redirect you to FedEx and you can track your order. If you get details correctly, then it will display here. Currently, we use trace credentials. That's why it's not coming proper data. Right. So we go back to do and there is fourth functionality, which is cancel order. So when we click on this cancel button and OK, so these order will cancel in FedEx and you can see success message over here. Yes, so you can see that shipment number, which is this and it's canceled. So here are the old details regarding FedEx Odoo shipping integration. Thank you.